the fertility profile. What is it? It is just a, a way for a woman to check in, to see how her body is doing. We know from a study earlier this year from Scotland that a woman can lose up to 90% of her eggs. Most do. 90% of their eggs are gone by the time they hit age 30. Now, your ability to conceive is maintained fairly well th between 30 and 35, although we do see a slight drop off, despite the tremendous loss in eggs. But by between 35 and 38, there's a tremendous drop off. And you know, some of those people drop off at 32, and some people drop off at 34, and you really don't know. So what we're advocating is that we, a woman takes the bull by the horn, so to speak, and investigates her own ovarian reserve. You have um, the uh, two blood tests. There's the traditional test called FSH, or follicle stimulating hormone. This is a blood test that has to be drawn on the third day of your menstrual cycle. So the first drop of menstrual flow is day one, and then two, and on day three, we draw your FSH. So it's a, it's a, a test uh, drawn from just blood from your arm, and um, we are looking for a number. It's arguable, but less than 10, less than 12. Um, and uh, if it were to be greater than 22, 23, you're already getting into menopause. The second blood test is a, a newer test, only been out two or three years, and uh, many OBGYNs um, uh, are unfamiliar with the test, and a lot of people in the field of infertility don't use the test. Um, I know that because I get records from other doctors and I see that they're not utilizing this test. I think it's an important test, and what's nice about it the anti-mullerian hormone test is it's not cycle specific. You can take it any day and have the blood drawn. And th that number gives us an idea as to how many eggs are sort of awake and alert and oriented and, and, and functioning. And as the number will drop as time goes by, as opposed to FSH, which will go up. Well, the third test is an ultrasound test. This is a usually a vaginal ultrasound, so it's, it might be a little uncomfortable, although most women are tolerated very easily. Um, it's just a thin vaginal probe and we look at your ovaries and very quickly can count the number of small little pre-ovulatory eggs and they're called antral follicles and the title is antral follicle count. We can look on the left and we look on the right. It is somewhat cycle specific. It has to be done between day three and day 12 of your menstrual cycle. It takes 10 minutes at, if that. Any woman who's 30 years old and has no plans in the near future to get pregnant, take a look at this and um, call their doctor. And if the doctor doesn't want to do it, call us or another fertility program and say, hey, I want to know, am I okay? You know, I want to go for my master's, go for my PhD. I want, I want to know where I stand. And um, uh, we can arrange and your doctor can arrange to have these tests done at any major lab in the country. They all offer these tests. The ultrasound, needs to be done at an ultrasound facility, um, typically a, uh, a fertility program, but an OBGYN can do it if, they're, if they know and if they're trained. Um, it's very easy. Um, what's the potential? If a woman were to find out that her ovarian reserve is diminished, she may make different decisions. And certainly she'll be in a position to, to know what she's getting herself into if she decides to push this off. She may have options. She might be, decide to freeze her eggs. Um, for a later date. She may have a partner, a male partner, and the two of them, or, 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 or her husband, they not ready to have children. They can go through IVF and freeze embryos. The freezing of embryos has um, improved dramatically over the years so that we can really rely on those embryos to work well, to thaw well, and give us babies.